I'm Troy Kirby with my Edmonds News with a quick look at the 2021 Washington State Legislative Session. On Monday, February 1st, the Senate Labor, Commerce, and Tribal Affairs Committee held a public hearing on Senate Bill 5365, which would establish a Washington State Cannabis Commission. All Washington crops are provided, but which cannabis is denied is very long. For example, every Washington grower can receive USDA-funded pesticide applicator training and worker protection training, except for cannabis growers. Uh, Washington State has 32 commissions, including the Hops Commission, the Wine Grape Growers Commission, plus the Beer and Wine Commissions. All were established via statute like we are doing here today for cannabis. You may hear from some lobbyists today that the cannabis producers in the state cannot take on the financial costs of a commission. I'm here to debunk that unfounded fear. Uh, first of all, the duties of this commission are fairly broad. We'd recommend membership should include people from the Department of Behavioral Health, uh, Substance Abuse Prevention uh, Professional, uh, the Department of Agriculture and Law Enforcement. Over in the House, Children, Youth, and Families Committee, lawmakers heard testimony on House Bill 1354, which would develop suicide review teams focused on youth suicide prevention. Suicide prevention continues to be one of the to our top legislative priorities. We support House Bill 1354 and respectfully request you add the amendment that includes review the access to lethal means. We also request that when you receive the report, you use this feedback or provide this feedback to schools, higher education institutions, workplaces, and healthcare providers supporting these youth. Um, we're here testifying other this afternoon, not because we don't um, fully support the intent of the bill, we certainly do. We support a data first approach to behavioral health policy development like the one established here, an informed and systematic multidisciplinary approach, such as the one created in section two of this bill. I think will mean a more thoughtful and to borrow Representative Moss Brecker's work targeted initiatives down the road, which we hope will save many more lives. Um, currently in the state of Washington, a person dies every seven hours, and it definitely is Representative Moss Brecker said is the second leading cause of death for youth. Our state is ranked 25th as it relates to suicide completion, and our overall ranking for youth mental health access is 35th. So there definitely are things that we can um, look forward to, to kind of change the trajectory and increase our prevention initiatives. Thank you for watching the Daily Legislative Report by My Edmonds News, covering the 2021 legislative session.